Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at the um, very exciting topic of deploying your um, Java web application to the internet using a free account. Um, now the details of this are going to vary depending upon which um, account provider, whether it's free or paid, you decide to go with. Um, and for example, there is, uh, if you search for, if you go to um, Google, let's say, and you search for Google App Engine, uh, you can find there, here, um, a, um, the, the Google App Engine will let you, there's actually a plugin for Eclipse that you can install, and it gets you a button like this, and you can create a, uh, a new um, Google App Engine project which is basically a um, it's basically a server and JSP project using some custom Google stuff, and you can employ it, deploy it using this button, and Google has its own system for letting you do that. Um, but we're going to take a look at this in this tutorial at a account provider um, that lets you deploy your project for free um, using, um, and it can be just be a normal standard project with no. Um, kind of Google stuff involved in it and um, I'm sure there are lots of these um, providers if you search around um, you just need someone that basically um, gives you a Java application server that you can use but uh, the one that um, I like to use um, at the moment is called CloudBees and as I say if CloudBees is not around anymore by the time you look at this tutorial then just do a few searches for a application, Java application server, and I'm sure you'll find some good ones. But I've got an account with CloudBees that I set up for free, and um, I'm going to just log in here. And CloudBees um, lets you have, um, you can deploy your applications free, and you can also have like MySQL databases of up to five megabytes for free as well. And it deploys your applications in a cloud, so that providing you're willing to pay, uh, even if you get millions of users, you can scale up um, your applications very well. And um, it's also just great for testing and stuff, and it's nice to see your stuff running on the URL. So I'm going to log in here. Uh, my email um, here is my personal email. And if you want to email me, send me a line, please, at john at Um And I'm going to just type in my password here. So I think that's right, and click log in. Now uh, this interface, when you first see it, looks a little bit intimidating, but it's actually pretty damn simple. And um, if you want to create a database, for example, uh, which we'll actually look at in a future tutorial, you just click Databases. But what we want to deploy here is an application. So I'm going to click Applications. And um, when the page loads, now I want to create a new application. So I'll just go to here and add a new application. This is pretty simple actually. Um, and you can see here that it's giving me the option to create a JVM web application in the WAR format. And in the last tutorial we saw how to create a WAR file. And we're going to be using that again in this tutorial with a few little twists. So let's give this a name and I'll just call it uh, Deployment Test and click finish and uh, you just have to wait for a few seconds while it um, sets up your application in this cloud um, a cloud being like a whole load of different machines that all work together and let's click configure now and now on this page um, I've got some useful information including uh, some ways you can um, deploy your application even more quickly on the command line which I've never actually tried but I've got instructions here but what I want to do is upload a WAR file uh, now the, the catch here is, well there are two little catches that I should mention one is that um, you need to make sure um, at least at the time that I'm making this tutorial that your application has one of these standard web.xml files in it in its uh, web inf directory under web content and we looked at um, web.xml files um, a couple of tutorials ago and if your application doesn't have one then um, please go back and check the tutorial on web.xml files because you will need one 
um, to deploy your application successfully, at least at the moment, as far as I know. And another little quirk here, another thing to be aware of, is that um, you need to compile your application using the same Java JDK that you're going to deploy with, um, well, that your application server is running. And um, actually, at the moment, and this may have changed by the time you um, re look at these tutorials, so it's worth looking uh, at the documentation for your um, application server. But at the moment, I believe this version of CloudBees is running um, Java 6, and I compiled with Java 7. So um, I've got, I've installed a Java 6 JDK on my machine, along with the JDK 7. And I'm going to right click my project here and go to properties. And I'm going to go to Java compiler. And I'm just going to change this to 1.6. Um, Java has this weird thing that version 6 is referred to as 1.6 and version 5 as 1.5 and so on. I'm not completely sure why. Um, but, um, but there you go. Um, so I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to compile this with Java version 6 and I'll just click apply and build the project now. Okay. And if you want to be doubly sure, maybe it's worth just going to project clean and that will get rid of any of your compiled files and then just running it again to check that it works. Let's select um, a server or a JSP and click run. And uh, when you do this, you might see an error icon there, but um, it's, um, oh yeah, my Tomcat's already running, actually. Um, so I'm going to stop Tomcat before I test this. So let's just go to, I'll search in my start menu for monitor Tomcat and right click run as administrator. And we saw this in the last tutorial as well. And I'm just going to stop Tomcat. So if you see that message, uh, ports required by Tomcat are already in use. It's probably probably because you've already got an instance of Tomcat running and you need to stop that before you can deploy using the Eclipse version. So let's try to run this again. And uh, if you see an error icon there when you change the Java version, don't worry too much because the acid test is, does your application work? And Eclipse sometimes gets a little bit confused and says there's an error when there isn't one. Um, so, and now I'm gonna just go to file export and actually not file export I'm going to right click my project sorry and I'm going to go to export so right click the project go to export select war file and I'm going to select a folder to put that in I'll put it in C workspace which is where I've got my um, projects my clips projects and I'll click save and I don't want to optimize it for Tomcat 7 because then it's probably not going to work and I'm not even sure what version of Tomcat CloudBees is working, actually. So we just want a completely generic project using the right version of Java. And click Finish. And now let's let's um, go back to CloudBees here and upload a war file. And I'll choose File here. And I'll go to C. Um, I saved it in C Workspace. And browse down here. And it's... Um, where are we? Deployment.war and I'll click finish. And now it's going to upload that war file, um, which usually doesn't take long unless you've got images and stuff in there. And so let's just wait for a minute. And now, so this page will refresh. And I'm going to go to this URL up here. Let's just right click it and go to open link in new tab because I want to keep that page. And here's my application running. And the context root, um, well, is uh, sort of gone missing, but you see it's deployed here, deployment test, which is the name I gave the application. And I assume that's configurable in Cloud CloudBees, but I'm not really sure. And I can go to uh, the URLs that I mapped in my web.xml, like uh, login page, I think I called it, or um, hello world, like this. And those were mapped in the last tutorial, or the tutorial before, in um, web.xml. And of course, if you buy a URL on a, um, from someone that sells domain names, like Yahoo domain name service or something, um, then you can, with a bit of configuration, you can point your domain name here, 
and you can have your own nice URL with your web, web application running on it. So that's it for this tutorial. And um, oh yeah, and one thing that I do want to mention, if you compile with a wrong version of Java and then upload it, so a different version of Java to what your application server expects, then you'll probably see an error saying uh, something like unsupported or incorrect major minor version. And that means basically you've compiled with the wrong version of Java. Um, but hopefully you won't see that. So um, that's it for this tutorial. And until next time, happy coding.